Corticobatical spinal system is our largest neural system. Bilaterally innervates the cord. Originates in multiple areas within the cortex. Synapses on the pontomodulary reticular formation and gives rise to two pathways. The pontine, which is the medial pathway, has an ipsilateral distribution. And the medullary, or the lateral pathway, has a bilateral distribution. So it subserves postural control through the production of feed forward or anticipatory postural adjustments. And it accounts for 30 to 40% of axial and proximal muscle control. It's also involved in, the, in, in gait function, such as gait initiation, regulation, and execution. And here we have a patient who has a more affected side being the right side. However, when he's in single leg stance, where is the biggest deficit from a truncal perspective? So when he's actually in his left single leg stance, his orientation of his trunk is more inappropriate than when he's in right single leg stance. And so therefore his ipsilesional pathways through the reticular spinal system here are influencing his ability to gain single leg stance on the ipsilesional side, which in turn may be affecting his ability to generate efficient motor activity through the upper limb and lower limb on the more affected side.